What's good, Humble Squad? It's your boy, Humble Ziggy. We back here with another reaction for y'all. And today, we here with the Amazing Digital Circus, Episode 3, The Mystery of Mindel, Mindel Hall Manor. Now, hey, I gotta say, shout out to Glitch and such, because <laughs> from the first episode, Basically, from the pilot episode to the f second episode and s such, it has been uh, one thing's for sure. <laughs> With this amazing digital circus thing, this shit has been going crazy and such. So, hey, we I already watched up to two. We already I, we already reacted to one and two in a pilot episode. I think the pilot episode was called. I believe the pilot episode is one and such, but regardless, we up to number three. So enough talking. We about to check this out. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me now. My socials up there. And without further ado, let's get it. And yes, I put the captions on. I like to see the captions. Don't judge me. What's up, Pomni? I can't hold it any longer. Sure you can. We can't die from oxygen this. deprivation, remember? But it still feels like I'm gonna die. Try not thinking about it. Or you could toughen up. <laughs> I want to see what your funny cartoon body does. Hey, take it easy. Oh, take it easy. That's you. All right. <laughs> Here I go. <sighs> All right, we've entered the blue zone. Okay. Purple. Hey, there's something new. Okay, we're getting red. Red. Oh, orange. Orange. Yellow. Green. Whoa, look! Now she's turning blue! She was already blue. She doing the whole entire rainbow. <laughs> huh. Guess the hue shift just gets faster. Why am I the one doing this? Why not one of you guys? Because something different happens with each person. For instance, Kinger starts glowing, Ragatha's hair noodles stick up, Gangle's mask starts spinning, and Zubal turns straight. My limbs straighten up and fuck off. Ah, what about you? That's crazy. <laughs> he refuses to show us because he's a coward. I want to keep the mystery alive. What do you, the viewers, think it is? Huh. You stop doing that. Why is everybody just nice fourth wall break when right there? Adventure to be had. Today's adventure is the mystery of Mildenhall Manor. Mildenhall. That's right. This big spooky mansion has been rumored to be filled to the brim with. And we are in and we are in Halloween season, so it, it figures there will be like a spooky mystery, Paranormal spooky activity. season, it's and up such. To you to solve the house's deep mysteries and capture all the ghoulish ghost activity you can. And for the first time ever, you can. Where's Zubal? I made this adventure really cool and uh, mature, just for them. Mature. The heck you just what? said? The NPCs aren't going to become self-aware in this one, right? How should I know? I'm not the boss. Oh wait, yes I am. <laughs> Anyway, everybody into the Psycho. factor, boys! It's adventuring time! Oh, this place is spooky. I wonder how hard Kane's gonna go with the scare factor. I hope this adventure doesn't end up being another horrible nightmare. I'm not really a fan of horror, and I don't really handle jump scares <laughs> that well. Boop! <laughs> ah, come on! He's I swear, this day, one of these days, glitch. If y'all watching, well, it is what it is. But glitch, y'all need to make a whole entire episode about somehow trying to either expose Jacks of something, just something. Cause I want to see what this nigga does when everything is aimed at him and it's all negativity coming his way and such. And he wanna act like he know it all. Shit, I want to see what happens when his ass gets scared. His ass get like either worried or French. I want to see what happens when he reacts. <laughs> really handle jump scares that well? <laughs> ah, come on, that wasn't even scary. 
What? You scared of the vacuum cleaner, too? Hey, be nice to her. She's had a rough couple of days. Her and everyone else. Right, Gangle? <laughs> Does anybody hear that? <laughs> My first wild take. I don't know why they're not retracting though. That didn't happen for me. Before you continue oh, your damn. adventure, you have to choose which door you're gonna go through. The door on the left is the normal door. Rated what? Why he sounds like freaking him from Powerpuff Girls? Now for all ages. The door on the right. If you know who that is, leave a like on this video. It's a really scary door. And Rated subscribe. Mature Zoobles only. It's up to you to do this. Freaking Ghostbusters. We're not in Ghostbusters, and this ain't Luigi's Mansion, nigga. <laughs> Which door should we choose? Hmm, not sure. Let's try this out. Don't worry, Gangle, I'll get it for you. <laughs> Oh, that's the scary door. Why? Of course it would be. Zerbo, come on out. I just want to talk to you. There you go. Mm. Mm. Oh, I know. What the, could you have done that the whole time? Zerbo, I, I just want to get to the bottom of why you keep skipping all my amazing adventures. You could end up really hurting Bubbles' feelings. Uh, Bubbles' feelings? Enough about Bubbles' feelings. How about your feelings? I... So, what's on your mind, Zubal? I... would rather not. <laughs> That's hilarious! Go on. No, I mean, I've already told you what my problem is. You just never remember because... Oh, never mind. My mind is a beeswax polished coconut. Nothing ever escapes these cakes. So what can I do to make my adventures more appealing to you? See, this is exactly what I'm talking about. All you're thinking about is your adventures. It has nothing to do with the adventures. It's more just... Ugh, forget it. You're what is it? not even listening. Zool, look at this cool bee I drew. Yeah, he ain't. <laughs> that nigga ain't listening for shit. Uh, where are we? Oh, that's... Sorry, I saw some flash in my window. Ugh. Okay, now that's creepy. <laughs> I wonder what this thing is. My name is Baron Theodore Mildenhall. Hunting has been a hobby of mine for as long as I can remember, although one could say it eventually became more of an obsession. The creature you see before you is one I've been pursuing for years. Not quite a man, but not quite an animal. Something unholy, something evil. Paranormal, I probably. I myself to spend every waking moment doing all I could to protect my family from the creature, hoping that when I'd eventually killed it, I would be freed from this awful feeling, this inescapable dread. I was wrong. And now you're dead. You know, I'm starting to think. Starting to think How what? How about we try to find a way back up to the others? Don't go through. Okay, cool, that's great. I love these adventures. We could always ride this thingy up. It's locked. It's locked, of course. It's locked. I love that it's locked. <laughs> Family going crazy. Tuesday, December 4th. Although I had shot the creature multiple times in its vitals and severed its head to keep as a prize on my wall, my troubles were just beginning. I took my eyes off the body for what felt like only a minute. And when I looked back, the body was gone. Mm -hmm. The creature was not dead. Mm -hmm. And it would be back to reclaim what I'd taken from it. 
if anyone is listening to this. All I ask of you is one thing. What? Do not let the head out of your sight. You have been warned. Wow. This is some rather inconvenient lore placement. I got it! And this is some rather inconvenient darkness. Uh, ah, ah, what was that? Was that you? I like the animation. No. Oh, wait. You mean me grabbing you right now? Yeah, that was me. Is this your hand? Uh, uh, that's my eye. Yes, but which eye? I really don't think that matters. Will you stop touching my eye? Oh, yeah, sorry. Ah, what happened? I just remembered a really funny joke. Uh, you, why did you scream then? Maybe it wasn't actually that funny. Oh my god. I think... King is crazy. hold on to each other and slowly make our way back into the trophy room. I wouldn't do that if I were you. I would. I, look here. You know what they say when black people go into freaking scary movies. So, if I were you, I would not want you to hold me because I'm punching you. Especially if we're in the dark, I'm punching you. Think we should hold on to each other and slowly make our way back into the trophy room. Uh, sounds fine to me. I call the eyes are like 2D animation. What's what? What? It's probably just magnets. Or a boat. A boat? Or whatever the case, I think we should be completely quiet. Three, two, okay, yeah, I one. agree. You know, you're really hit and miss with these things sometimes. Wait. There's a fly in here. Nigga, stop slapping her! I think that's making a lot of noise. Oh god, there is a fly. And... gotcha! I think I got him. I can't see my hands. Nigga, if... The way that build-up was crazy. Hold up. Gotcha! Just the... Can't see my hands. From the eyes in the background. And I like how it just cranked. It went from the 2D animations in the eyes, and then as soon as when it came creeping in, ever so slowly, it, got, it came right back to the 3D animation. Oh, look. Yeah. That was fire, but watch it just come in slowly but surely. And then the. Sorry, could you speak up? I couldn't quite make that out. Yeah. <laughs> hey, like she's what she said. Sorry, could you speak up? I what couldn't quite what make said? that out. What she said? One, exactly. I'm sorry I do this, but I had to. Tommy, I think this might be the creature from the tapes. <laughs> yeah, things stupid. Yes, you do, nigga. Literally, your, literally your two guests are getting tortured right now by a goddamn head. Torment I inflict is one hundred percent accidental, like any good war criminal. We weren't even talking about that. I really couldn't give less of a crap about the adventures. Then what is your problem, Zubal? I'm trying my best to remember, but you and my brain won't tell me. It's me. Remember? I don't like myself i hate this body i hate all these stupid removable pieces i just want to find something that feels good oh yeah now i remember why i couldn't remember it's because that problem is already solved simply swap out your undesirable zoobal parts for better ones i've been trying to find parts i like since the day i got here so back to the adventures forget it forget it just forget it 
Forget what? Kane, nobody likes your stupid adventures. <laughs> nobody. Ha <laughs> <laughs> good one, Zubal. Nigga. Agatha's just too nice to say anything. Yeah, like, nigga, come the fuck on. If you got a doll like her, mind you, she's one, she of all of them is the nicest one. But even she wants to say, like, motherfucker, nobody cares about your goddamn adventures. Not even Bubble. I guarantee you, Bubble don't even like them damn adventures, too. He probably saying that, nigga, you crazy as fuck. Probably backwards, how, in such. Ha <laughs> ha, good one, Zubal. Ragatha's just too nice to say anything. Jax just likes to fuck with everybody. True. Gangle's too shy to speak up. True. Kinger's insane. Yeah, you. And, and Pomni, well. she looks traumatized every time she comes back from one. Oh! She's, she was, mind you, she was traumatized the minute she came into this universe. Came into this circus. Right? From episode one, she was already traumatized by this shit. But would you keep on with these damn adventures? Yeah. I would see why she would not want to enjoy your adventures whatsoever. Pomni, she looks traumatized every time she comes back from one. Oh, Zubal, Zubal, Zubal. Making adventures is my art. It's all I exist to do, all I'm good at. And, uh... What you're saying could imply that I'm bad at the only thing I'm good at, and that... <laughs> that'd be... Uh-oh. Uh, whose therapy session is this again? Oh yeah! We need to get to the bottom of your behavioral issue! <laughs> I'm gonna show you some ink blots, and you're gonna say the first word that comes to your mind! Douche. Where are we now? Hopefully, do she's not a bad not word, sure. but what do you? Seller of some kind. Things have gotten far worse than I could ever have imagined. My paranoia had driven me to the point where I was no longer the protector my wife and theoretical children needed. Mm. Jumping at every shadow, every noise, I ended up shooting the love of my life, mistaking her for the creature. It's Ironic. I want to say an effed up thing, but I ain't going to say it. But I'm going to say it like this. He pulled a CB. And let's just say I ain't talking about Chris. I ain't talking about Chris Brown. Just from that context alone, if you know about somebody who mm, they wife, just know you and me know who you're talking about. Just with this sentence right here, I end up pew pewing the love of my life, and it's a CB. If you know about that, if you know what I'm thinking, then me and y'all see the same way. Me and y'all see. Mistaking her for the creature. It's ironic, isn't it? In my attempts to protect her, I ended up becoming the monster myself. Mm. Now I wait down in my cellar. No longer having anything to protect but my own soul. If nothing else, I will slay the beast that took everything from me. How's about we take his gun? Yeah, sounds good to me. <laughs> Not even feeling sorry for the guy. Just, bah, just take the... Okay, I won't. Okay, I know I was born at night, but I know damn well I wasn't born, no, hold on, no, I was gonna, that's how the saying goes, I know I was born at night, but I wasn't born last night, I know good and goddamn well this nigga did not just respond to her saying that. Please don't come alive. Okay, I won't. At that point, I'm running. Looks like we've got two shots. Let's make them count. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Klinger got a blicky on him now. Just 
Just leave it to me. I can handle this. You got two shots, my guy. That's one. And that's two. Well, nice. That wasn't so bad. Nice shots. Nice shots. I what I would be saying if I didn't know that the creature was actually one of God's angels. What? And anyone who brings harm to it will be dragged down into the cold, spiraling pits of hell where my soul resides. I apologize, dear listener. Nigga, couldn't you? You could have just said that earlier. You couldn't have said that from earlier. Anyone who brings harm to it will be dragged down into the cold. I would have just took the shotgun and fought on him. Resides. I apologize, dear listener, but I need a living host in order to escape the hall of the damned, and your bodies will be my only means of doing so. Now wait, how did he record this if he was in hell? Does it matter? I hope you're ready, because the next breath you take down there will be your last, and your bodies will belong to me. Blame that nigga Kane. Mmm, good tea. Sorry again about your husband killing you and everything. Oh, you know how men are. Always having the silliest priorities. <laughs> Don't I know it. <laughs> ah! If your friends see him, I only hope... Thank you. Ragatha, thank you. Because <laughs> I've been... I've, I've been... Set, I literally just said it in the... You literally heard me saying that I wanted something... One of these days, I want something bad happening to this nigga. And slowly but surely it happening. Don't I know it. That's what you get. If your friends see him, I only hope he doesn't bore them to death with his endless monologues. That man could turn a 57 second story into a Greek tragedy. Mm. I'll be sure to ask them next time I see him. Thanks again for the tea. I had a really nice time here. <laughs> Don't mention it. Feel free to visit anytime. Definitely. Congratulations, my little ironclad waffle cones! You've taken the pacifist route, and you should be proud of what good people you are! Unfortunately, we still need to wait until your other teammates finish their adventure before I can grant you permission to leave! I wonder how long that'll be. <laughs> and you know what, so And mind you, how did they get into that predicament? This nigga Jax. What did he like threw something or so? Yeah, he threw something at that door, and end up th and those two end up being in there. So I'm just I'm just saying the next like oh you know what let me let this go out to the end. Not really typical of what you think hell would be. We <laughs> are literally in hell right now. Hell! Of course I'd be in hell. How could I not be in literal hell right now? Just try to stay calm. I'm sure Kane included a way to escape. Only for the pacifist route he did. I don't know about this route. <laughs> Hold on. Let me try something. Hey, there's actually a staircase down there. It could be a way out. Maybe it'll work for us since we still have our bodies? Though I'm worried about what that tape said earlier. I'm just gonna try going fast. Wait, Pommy! Pommy! Well. <laughs> oh, hell no. Nah. Just when you think she wasn't scarier before, well, not saying she wasn't scarier before, but nigga, now that she got possessed, can it be any worse for her? Hey, you get out of here, you damn evil 
to living things, just want a vessel to be able to leave with. Man, seven years of computer science for this, huh? huh. Why? Every day I spend here is one nightmare after the next. I knew it would end up like this. He, he just wants me to suffer. <laughs> I really am in hell. Don't say that. You're not in... Well, I, I guess we are technically in... <laughs> Forget about that. How about we just relax for a bit while nothing's chasing us? Hmm. Crazy that King, crazy enough Kinger is the guy who's keeping calm in this situation. Man who's always been in, gone a little bit cuckoo in the head is the one who's keeping this insane. That, if that ain't some irony for your ass, I don't know what is. <laughs> it was my fault we went down this path, wasn't it? I'm really nah. It wasn't sorry you for that. It, it was Jax. Why have you been acting so different lately? <laughs> I have, haven't I? I'm normally not too good with memories. Being surrounded by darkness always. Brings me back to a certain time. Hmm. When you was normal? Right after my wife had been abstracted. Hmm. I don't recall the exact string of events, but we both ended up in the fort together. And it was dark. The darkness seemed to calm her down a bit. The harsh, jagged edges smoothed out, and she didn't seem aggravated anymore. She wasn't the same as before, but she was calm enough to touch one last time before she got sent to the cellar. Mm. I'm always taken back to that moment when engulfed in darkness. You had a wife? Like, here in the circus? Yeah. She was funny, creative, really into entomology. I used to hate bugs, but she somehow got me to like them. Mm. It's not the most cheerful memory, but... Hey, a memory's a memory. I at least have control over. A memory's a memory, nigga. At the end of the day. I know how I can feel. In this... Circus. Sometimes it all just feels... Pointless. Mm. Yeah. But it's not. Not if you have people who care about you. Good memories can do a lot. True. Hold on to them. And cherish the people around you. Facts. <laughs> who knew Kinger is the one? Never know when they'll be gone. Who knew Kinger is the one who's giving out advice? In this world, the worst thing you can do is make someone think they're not wanted or loved. Mm. I'm glad you're here with me. Crazy that Kinger is the one who is really speaking bars and you know, I've been thinking about that last tape. He said, the next breath you take down there will be your last. Maybe we can get through if we don't breathe. I'm not very good at holding my breath. Well, how about we try not thinking about it? Uh, if we leave... And we go back to the circus. You're just gonna go back to being crazy. You're not gonna remember any of this, are you? Don't worry about me. As long as you remember it, things will be okay. Mm. You're very strong, Pommy. And I know you'll be able to get through this. It's so crazy that King, like, I'm, like I know I keep on saying it, but bro, if you've seen the last two episodes of how Kinger is in such. He's always the one with the crazy, is gone insane, always saying some craziness and whatnot. Always being a little awkward sometimes, crazy, insane sometimes, and just, mm, and such. But 
But in this episode, it's so crazy to me that he's the one who is like so calm, cool, and collected, but sometimes has this like per. That just shows you that sometimes with certain people in your lifetime, you wouldn't know what they're going through if you just sit down and talk to them for the one time. Because who knew that this man had a wife before he went in the head? That just goes to show you. Well, I just said it. You never know who is going through something in their life. Because you may think that he was crazy one minute. But then when you sit down and when he's engulfed in darkness, apparently, he thinks of his wife. And then he's just this soft stone and such. Hey, surprise the hell out of me. You're very strong, Pomme. And I know you'll be able to get through this. Just hold on to me. We'll get through it together. You ready? He does glow. Oh, Pomni, Kinger, are you guys okay? Was it scary? I'm fine, actually. What happened up here? Don't even worry. Uh, don't worry about that. Pomni was very brave. At least I think she was. Were you? Something like that. Hey, Ragatha. Yeah? I just want to say thanks for always being concerned about me. I feel like through everything, I haven't really been appreciative enough about that. Uh, oh, thank you, Pomni. I just want to make sure you're doing all right. Well, we care about you. Did you remember to get my comedy mask? <laughs> And, and now I'm, I'm just starting to wonder if the Wild West was even a real direction at all. Whoopsie daisy, looks like everybody completed the adventure and they're coming home. Quick, pretend we weren't having a therapy session. Okay. Welcome back, my meowing milkmaids. Don't ever call us that again. Yeah, don't ever say that. <laughs> so what was it like being stuck with the nutcase? It... Wasn't that bad, actually. Jax, you need to fuck off sometimes. Hey man, shout out to Glitch them and such. Make sure I give a little like and such. I'm crazy enough that this was released on August, August, October 4th and such. Ten days ago. So literally last week. And already this bitch got like 36 million views. <laughs> hey man. Shout out to Glitch and such. Can't wait for episode 4 and such. And rest assured, I'm gonna be on that. But hey man. That was something different. Because one, like I said, I would never think in this episode we got K King Kinger. Is it Klinger or Kinger? Hold on, I keep on getting, I'm always saying Klinger. Kinger, there we go. I would never think it's Kinger being the one who, like, somewhat being, in a way you can say being so soft-toned and spoken, because we've always seen him don't remember shit, or just being psycho and whatnot, but hey. That just, like I said, that just goes to show you, like he basically said in that, talking, when he was talking, Cherish the one you have. Cherish the ones you have. Because you never know when they might last. But hey. Shout out to Glitch man. Amazing episode and such. Ch trust me. I'm going to be on the lookout for the next one. But. It's been your boy Humble Ziggy signing out. Stay positive. Keep the vibes up. I'm out.